Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how video and in this video we're just going to uh, learn the basics of using particles with force fields so it'll be kind of fun uh, let's go ahead and get started this is kind of something similar uh, I just made this to demonstrate a little bit of what we're going to be getting into this is the Blender my output file that I had when I created this earlier and so we're going to create it based off of this. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and Start a new, I'm going to go ahead and get a new Blender file. Uh, let's go ahead and delete this queue as we won't be using it, but we will need a plane. This is going to be our emitter. Uh, we have to have an emitter. This is where all the, the balls are going to come from. And we need some balls. So let's go ahead and make some of them. I'm just going to move them up a little bit so we can see it. Uh, I'm going to shade smooth and I'm going to make I'm going to move this here. I'm going to make three different ones. Uh, this is just for different colors. Uh, whatever colors we make this will be our our actual colors up there. So I'm going to change this to Eevee so we can see what the colors are going to be. At least close. I like blue. Make these any kind of colors you want. Ooh, that's kind of a nice one. Uh, let's go Green's not bad. Yeah, somewhere in there. I don't actually like that anymore. Do something like that. So that's what I've got now. Let's click on our emitter and make a new particle system down here in this tab. And I'm going to have it all emit between the first and second frames. You can make them all on the first. That would work fine too, but I'm just going to do the second one. Probably give it a little bit of variance. Uh, as that actually does happen. So now let's go into the render tab and change this from Halo to Collection. Oh, and we need to make a collection actually. So select all three of our objects and hit Control G. That will make a new group or collection, is what they're called in Blender 2.8, and name this Balls or whatever you want. Uh, click on our particle system emitter and go to collection and click on right here and balls now if we just play this we'll see those actually are each and every one of those are our balls which is working great uh, next let's hit uh, well actually they're really teeny so let's make them a little bit bigger by just scaling them up a little bit and this will actually, you'll want to test this before you hit play. Okay, because if you make them too big, here, I'll actually show you. If you make them too big, uh, sometimes they collide with each other. Uh, luckily, that's actually not happening. They, oh, it's because of this. We need to change one more setting. Uh, we have no f real physics on these. or they, There is, but they're not the kind of physics we want. Uh, I really like the fluid for at least this simulation. You can do whatever you want. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do whatever you want, but uh, this fluid one will look pretty well. Uh, but if they're too big, you'll get an explosion instead. It's like you're shoving millions of water molecules or particles into a very small area. As soon as that area is left free, it, the water will actually do something like this. Uh, so let's let's actually just decrease the size of that to 0.23 or something. Yeah, so we do want a little bit of expansion and a little bit of like this. That's that's okay. That's but the cool thing about fluid is the way it looks. So I'm gonna end the frame here at 100 so that we can see what's going on, and also go up to the top of our particles uh, particle settings tab and click on 
uh, lifetime to be 100. Now we can see a little bit more of what's going on. That's kind of what the fluid does. Is you'll, you'll have areas, with, well, they, they want to bunch together, kind of like fluid right after it rains, like on a car window. You can see this pretty obviously, where like there's little molecules or the little water bubbles everywhere on your car. But they're like clumped up. They're not, it's not spread out. Uh, this is what this is trying to do. And so I like that. You don't have to do it this way, but. Now, second off, just hit Shift A, Add, and then go down to uh, an empty, and just do plain axes. We're going to use this little empty, and this doesn't have to be an empty. You can use an object, but I'm using an empty, so. And then go click on the Physics tab and hit Force Field, and then you can leave that on Force, and now hit Play. Nothing happens, but it probably is happening, it's just so little that we don't notice it. So what happens if we decrease or increase this? Okay, so I just realized something while making this video, that you need to, for this to work, oops, if we click on this, for this to work, you will need to change this, or, or you may need to. This doesn't happen all the time, apparently, but sometimes you will just need to change this from force to like wind, and then back to force, and things will work again. So if you're having a little bit of weird issues with that, go ahead and do that. So the thing is, is if you have a force and you add to it, it's just going to push it away. So like. Let's put the force underneath these particles and watch what happens. Because it's an addi addition force, it's like pushing it away. The force is going from here out. So let's change this from a positive to a negative. I hope you saw what just happened right there. It kind of like goes toward it. So now let's just put this up here a little ways. And you'll see that it's starting, it like wants to go here. So let's just increase it in the negative direction. And we're getting some pretty cool stuff now. And so really this is the basics to it. Uh, there is so much, but with the force tab, the main thing that you'll want to play with are strength, flow, and shape. Shape will do exactly as such. If it's a plane, it will be a plane of force instead of a point. Um, however, I like the way the point one looks. Uh, strength is how strong the force is. So you can actually make it be super negative and have it attract a lot. And flow is that force. It will make it flow together. So you can make a ball of balls. <laughs> kind of neat. Noise will make the little jitter the little randomness within it, which is, which is nice sometimes. So we'll leave it there. Um, and I, th that's that's the points that I'm going to talk about in this in this video. Most of the other things get a little bit more advanced. Um, so the rest of it that I did before was just set up my camera. But yes, and I hope that you've enjoyed this tour tutorial. Like, subscribe, and check out any other videos that you would like to. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.